welcome to e sectiona i will continue the fourth, uh, fourth module last class we ended with uh, this one land filling okay uh, then we go for uh, another uh, process of insulation uh, this is the e waste uh, management uh, okay e waste management in this uh, waste are 100 kg 1000 kg of waste feeded okay combustion uh, furnace okay about uh, 1000 degree celsius heat Uh, from there heat uh, recovering the heat and uh, it moves to the this one electrostatic precipitator then this gas moves to the uh, lime uh, scrubber and bag filter okay and clean gas will be gone to the this tank okay this is the process of insulation okay this uh, electronic waste he waste about 1000 kg will feed okay it moves to the heat furnace combustion furnace okay and uh, bottom ash is uh, one uh, 122 uh, 200 kg ashes will be developed a 1000 kg evs uh, 122 200 kg ashes will be developed by the combustion okay from ga gas will move here hot gas will move here and uh, heat recovery system this is the heat recovery system okay uh, electro uh, uh, eco economicer okay economicer uh, boiler ash 5 to 10 kg ash will come down here okay after the burning and uh, f- uh, fuel gas uh, flue gas will moves to the this one okay uh, electrostatic precipitator okay here okay here also fly ash will come 10 to 25 kg okay and it moves to the acidic uh, gas and uh, lime scrubber and bag uh, filter is there in that apc residue 10 to 20 kg will come down and it moves to access of lime of 10 to 20 kg and uh, clean gases will moves to the atmosphere state this is the process of insulation and it is control the air pollution also okay this is the process of insulation process uh, in the uh, e waste okay e waste this is the process now you can see the insulation already i explained this is the modern technology okay combustion of uh, insulation okay process this is first one i already explained the land filling okay uh, we are uh, throwing a uh, dumping in the landfill okay one process second process uh, insulation heating burning it to 1000 about 1000 degrees celsius and it is uh, clean gases will be produced which would not pollute the environment this uh, treatment has already told in insulation third one is a recycling very very important in e waste major materials are recyclable okay major all the materials are uh, have yeah, 50 to 60 percent of materials are recyclable very very important so many people are working so many vendors will take that e waste okay we have to separate that e waste in different uh, already i told the collection of the e waste different category different boxes we have to keep different different waste okay e waste so many vendors are uh, take uh, they will take that e waste okay they will give you the uh money okay this is a very good business e waste management is the uh, b- uh, good business nothing to waste from this okay you can see the re- uh, reuse and uh, uh, recycle okay all the materials are reused and recycled in this this is the third process of uh, okay disposal first one is the land filling over already i told land filling this one okay this is the process a land filling second process already i told this is insulation burning okay third process is a very good process recycling and reuse this is all e waste are recycled and reused nowadays so many vendors are there to take the e waste okay lot of uh, vendors there's a plastic it is recycled okay paper 
yeah, this uh, plastic is uh, recycled, it, any wires, okay, metallic is there, it is recycled, okay, so many things, okay, if the electronic uh, small particles that is also taken on, okay, wood particles, this is the process of, re these are the three process we are doing the, then one in e-waste e management, okay. Disposal of the e-waste, that is the treatment process, what I told, okay, treatment process, three landfilling, okay, one process and uh, another one is the burning of the e-waste, okay, insulation, it is called the insulation, another one is recycle and, okay, reuse. Now, disposal of the e-waste, very, very important, electronic drop point, first, first is the first uh, point is, give back to the your electronic uh, company and drop of the point okay lot of e-waste is there okay a lot of electronics companies tend to have the exchange policy wherever taken back to your old okay uh, gadgets uh, when it but later version okay sometime offering the discount to the new purchaser okay see this uh, old uh, companies uh, who are given uh, this electronic goods no they will take back after uh, it is waste they will take back they will give the discount to new purchase they will give the discount to new purchase okay discount on new purchase that is a one of the major uh, this one give back your electronic company and drop off the point few recycle company are set up in the electronic drop off okay uh, that is a point product such as cell phone and tablets after which is recycled you can total uh, your local electronic shop regarding any information drop of location and this mobile phone and everything they will take back okay 500 rupees 1000 that way they will take back and they will reuse it that is the first point of disposal give back give back to your electronic companies and uh, a drop off of point give back to electronic company uh, drop of points. This is the process of disposal of e-waste. First is, first very important, give back your electronic companies and drop of point. This is the one disposal method. Second one, visit, visit civic institution, okay, enquiring among your government, university and schools for any recycling program they run as a lot of organization have started assigning certain day and place environmentally okay uh, conscientious citizen to come and drop their e-waste some of the government institution some of the government school as uh, the, uh, they are doing the recycling program to run a lot of organization started assigning environment day or e-waste uh, management day or anything, tell local to drop their e-waste in the their campus, okay, drop their e-waste in the campus. They will tell all the government schools or anything, if a government university is there, they will uh, arrange the program, okay, uh, one program or environment day or e-waste management day or anything, okay, they will tell uh, public to drop the e-waste, uh, come to the, okay, uh, okay, and conscious to the citizen, okay, about uh, the uh, e-waste drop, don't waste the e-waste, come to their uh, campus and uh, they will uh, drop the waste, that recycling is done in this process, okay. This is the one of the very important, uh, the, uh, the, they should get, uh, all public should have the uh, should come to know that uh, this e-waste uh, have the demand, it can be recycled, okay, it can be this one. Okay. Donating your outdated technology, old uh, gadgets uh, that you can no longer need it, be donated, they may be useful for others. The old computer may be useful either NGO or student, okay. You ask yourself these two questions before disposing the old electronic. See if the uh, donate your old dated technology. See you have the computer, 
or any spoiled uh, material of the electronic uh, this one PC and uh, you have the laptop or anything outdated you can give to NGO or poor students okay NGO or poor student okay they will repair and they will use this is the donating your outdated technology donating your outdated technology this is a very very important Okay, this is also process of disposal, donating. First one we can recycle program, we will make the program of recycling and we are doing. This is donating your outdated technology to the NGO or either student, your old computer or old laptop, okay, or old uh, this one, any uh, mobiles or anything, okay, which is need to school or NGOs for a poor student, that also you can you donate the okay outdated technology also and you waste another one okay sell off your outdated technology okay the man junk is another man tethered as old saying goes okay this can be applied with helping right of your old electronic you can tap into online site okay and e buy or restore having okay garage sales this will help the right of your outdated electronic earning some money example uh, these are the okay need videos games which uh, can be sell uh, for the high of dollar 40 price example the most electronic shops are always ready to buy your old electronics see this has shown sell of your outdated uh, technology means there are lot of online sites are there okay sites they will take your old electronics okay now it is started okay uh, helping uh, your old you can tap into the online site okay ebay or even uh, re even restore having the okay there are a different site that also you can take a uh, uh, photo, take the photo of the electronic goods, computer or a laptop, you old uh, this one outdated. Okay, then you can put the photo in the uh, this one, they will fix the rate. You will tell the rate, they will fix, they will take, okay, online uh, this one. Okay, this is also, you can be, uh, this can be done. Old, sell off your outdated technology. This is also one very important. You can uh, donate you can recycle, you can sell, you will get the money, okay. This is also one of the very, very important e-waste management, okay. Give the, your electronic waste a certified e-waste recycler, okay. If you have the electronic waste, okay, uh, see, a positive aspect of the e-waste recycling is that uh, to quite few recycling option, okay. You find the e-waste recycle, lot of, uh, okay, vendors are there, okay, they need uh, this one, recycling, electronic waste, they will take the electronic, they will give the money to you, okay, uh, some uh, lot of uh, this, van is the, is an uh, non-profit organization recycle company, which is uh, dedicated to uh, some of the uh, uh, non-profit NGO is also there, okay, uh, which will, uh, uh, recycle the e-waste for responsible. All the member have make the pledge to display their uh, pledges of responsible recycling. So working alongside certified recycle mean don't have worry about the polluting another nation or risk losing the personal detail criminal. Okay, this is the one of the process of electronic waste. We are uh, we will get the amount also. You can. Use or you can give the NGO free, okay, some uh, recycling uh, companies also there, okay, very important process, okay. Uh, okay. This Here are the things that have become an integral part of your life, without which you can't imagine surviving even a day. Your television, something which makes you smile and cry. Your mobile, your most cherished companion day and night. 
and your charger without which your mobile is as good as dead. But as soon as they get outdated, they are no more your companions. So what do you do with them? You unsympathetically remove them from your life. Till now what kept you entertained is today plaguing the world with global warming. Till now, what used to be the pride of your household has today become a source of pollution and illness for someone else. So when our electronic equipment become useless to us, they become e-waste for the environment. The kind of waste that is very different from ordinary waste as it contains toxic pollutants like mercury, lead, cadmium, chromium and plastics which are very harmful for human as well as environment. Today, there are lakhs of people working in unorganized sector of e-waste disposal. People working in this unorganized sector are often exposed to toxic chemicals during the processing of this waste. Interestingly, this e-waste also consists of valuable substances like gold, silver and copper. Today on one hand, we are growing as biggest consumer country of electronics and at the same time, we are generating vast amount of e-waste. Sometimes, in these days, we had to keep a good pen, a good status, a good house, a good house, now we have to keep a good phone, a good status. E-waste. I don't have awareness about this. देखिए हमारे देश में एनवायरनमेंट की समस्याएं इसलिए आई कि जिसको जीप ठीक लगा कारखानों लगा दिया देवर नॉट कॉन्सियस अबाउट इट हमने ई बेस के संबंध में एक मिशन उठाना चाहिए ऑनलाइन चलाना चाहिए अवेयरनेस कैंपेन करना चाहिए ई बेस के सॉल्यूशन खोजने चाहिए सरकार के साथ मिलकर के कोई प्रोजेक्ट बनाया जा सकता है ई बेस के सोल्यूशन वरना हम पता नहीं कहाँ से कहाँ पहुँच reason why our honorable prime minister took an important step towards creating a clean india so come let's together take an oath that we shall not dispose e-waste irresponsibly we will work towards its scientific disposal so that same e-waste can be reduced reused and recycled and to help us realize this dream, we have 150 e-waste authorized recycler functional in India. The details of the same are available at your nearest common service centers, CSC. So now all you have to do is just collect your e-waste and bring it to your nearest e-waste collection center. They will deliver them to their right destination where wealth will be generated from this waste without causing harm to humans or nature. Given the proper awareness, it will also create employment for thousands of people and will create a clean and healthy India. Clean Digital India A big step towards digital cleanliness. Uh, this e-waste uh, uh, video, you can, uh, our Prime Minister uh, Modiji told that it is very, very important to manage the e-waste. Okay, lot of uh, recycling company, about 150 recycling companies in, in India. Uh, the government is supporting for that, a lot of uh, uh, get job uh, from this. Uh, this is very, very important, okay all government and uh, so many private sector also helping to the sea waste management okay thank you okay. we will start uh, next uh, this one hazardous waste management okay or uh, another important hazardous waste this is a very uh, important uh, adverse uh, health effect this is a major uh, potential risk to human health okay this is very, very important. Okay, hazardous waste maintaining and transportation collection is a very, very uh, risky factor. Okay, 
it is a non degradable uh, in the nature okay it biologically magnified highly toxic uh, than the all other waste okay this is a very very dangerous you all know that it's a uh, uh, all uh, radioactivity waste nuclear waste all kind of under comes under this one okay hazardous waste okay hazardous waste is very very dangerous waste okay now one by one uh, you hazardous waste refer to waste that may be tend to cause adverse uh, adverse health effect on the ecosystem not only human being ecosystem also okay this waste poses the present of potential risk to human health or living organism okay this only not only effect on human health it is affect the ecosystem also environment also living organism it may be animal it may be plant everything this hazardous waste are very very effect because it highly toxic okay highly toxic okay can be biologically magnified okay non uh, degradable so this is a very very dangerous substance uh, it uh, directly it should not be disposed to the atmosphere okay hazardous waste we have taken lot of care for this okay say types of hazardous waste industrial hazardous waste medical hazardous waste radioactivity waste agro based waste radioactivity waste okay household waste different types of uh, okay types of hazardous waste it may be industrial hazardous waste it may be medical hazardous waste okay radioactivity hazardous waste agro based agriculture based uh, waste okay household waste okay different uh, type of hazardous waste okay types of hazardous waste okay industry yeah this hazardous waste from the industry also okay hazardous waste from the medical uh, waste medical uh, this also x ray this one so many things are there radioactivity waste okay and also agriculture based waste okay and household waste these are the waste okay different types of uh, hazardous waste okay different types of hazardous waste okay these are the types of hazardous waste you can see the types of hazardous waste uh, which is uh, dumped it is very very dangerous directly dumped uh, in the nature okay it is uh, toxic it kills the uh, plants animal and ecosystem totally and it kills the uh, health uh, human being health problem for the human being like cancer this one so managing of a uh, hazardous waste is very very dangerous uh, very very important okay if your uh, management is not proper it causes lot of diseases okay yeah, it, uh, so we have to take care this hazardous waste management okay see you can see the hazardous waste from the this one agriculture based okay lot of pesticides okay bottles pesticides for bottles and uh, this agriculture uh, we are using uh, for the plant okay this uh, pesticide okay fertilizers and so many things this also hazardous waste this cannot be directly space okay disposed okay this one you can see the hazardous waste uh, vehicle collection of the hazardous waste we we'll start collection of the hazard there are the sources of hazardous waste we completed the sources of hazardous waste now we complete the collection of hazardous waste how to collect the hazardous waste collection is also very important it should not be exposed to air to the environment proper correction uh, collection is done hazardous waste okay it may be industry or it may be anything source see this is the vehicle hazardous waste carrying vehicle it is fully packed okay atmosphere it should not be exposed exposed to atmosphere fully packed and it is moved to the hazardous waste okay site okay treatment site this is very important you can see this vehicle okay not like a solid waste uh, the management vehicle it is fully packed okay vehicle 
fully packed vehicle okay in this uh, waste are uh, okay uh, transported with the safe method okay this is also another type of the vehicle in uh, abroad now in india so it may be may be there okay this is the chemical uh, waste or hazardous waste transporting vehicle see fully packed okay uh, anywhere uh, when he, uh, they are exposed to the uh, atmosphere it is a fully packed vehicle uh, it is taken okay hazardous waste moment or chemical toxic chemical this is moment of the this one this type of big vehicle packed okay uh, this is very very important carrying the transportation and collection of the hazardous waste is very very important okay see treatment of the hazardous waste okay transportation collection we have i have shown the slides uh, there now we go for the treatment of the hazardous waste first one physical treatment chemical treatment biological treatment and thermal treatment okay first one physical how the hazardous waste in physical treatment how hazardous waste treated in the chemical treatment how hazardous waste treated in the biological treatment how hazardous waste treated in the thermal treatment one by one we will go okay physical chemical biological and thermal the treatment of the hazardous waste is very difficult okay because it contains lot of toxic okay we have to take care while uh, doing the treatment of the hazardous waste okay see here physical process many different physical treatment most are simple and low cost physical treatment choice depend upon the physical form of uh, waste that can and uh, its characteristics okay physical form of the waste and its characteristics choice depend upon okay options include separation one second on physical treatment sedimentation third one floating fourth on evaporation fifth on sludge dewatering and filtration these are the different types of separation okay first one separation of a different physical process okay first separation Uh, this is a physical uh, this one treatment okay and uh, sedimentation <coughs> sorry <coughs> sedimentation second treatment okay floating third treatment okay drying fourth treatment okay evaporation another treatment physical okay sludge dewatering and filtering these are the physical treatment for the hazardous waste depend upon the waste and its characteristics very important physical process depend upon the waste and its characteristics okay physical treatment is done okay it is a simple and low cost this physical treatment is a process is a simple and low cost okay physical treatment is a simple and low cost now we go for the chemical treatment this is the process of chemical treatment there is a free tank okay pump membrane model is used okay uh, primitive and digital balance okay these are the recycling process these are the process of chemical treatment you can see the flow chart of uh, this one okay uh, free tank recycle pump uh, membrane model and digital balance okay uh, these are the types uh, this is the second types of treatment that is the chemical treatment okay for the hazardous waste okay this is another type third one is the insulation thermal thermal comes when it is the insulation reduce the pressure okay here already in uh, us also we have done uh, biomedical waste also now this is the thermal these are the waste okay biomedical waste uh, there so, sorry uh, hazardous waste it is taken by the crane here burning okay furnace water and ash here burning about uh, 1500 to more than uh, 1800 degrees celsius 
from here turbine will run from the steams okay generator electricity and this is the okay bag house scrubbers okay here is a scrubbers okay and here then uh, pure air will come uh, this is the waste uh, okay waste from this is the process of uh, uh, installation okay reduced pressure installation with the reduced pressure this is the thermal treatment okay here waste is dumped it is taken by the crane here heat okay temperature okay burning temperature more than uh, 1800 degrees celsius okay and here there is a turbine due to the steam turbine will rotate and power will be generated one of the uh, good process and scrubbers okay these gases will should not affect the environment okay pure gases here is the bag houses and this is just this is the process of uh, okay thermal treatment mm -hmm. this is the process of thermal treatment insulation reduces pressure okay insulation reduces pressure this is the process okay insulation reduces pressure mm -hmm. okay uh, here is the uh, uh, this one waste crane already I explained this one this is a process of thermal okay power is generated from this this is the biological treatment see here biological treatment of the hazardous waste biological treatment of the hazardous waste is done in this way okay big plant biological treatment is done okay in this process okay see biological treatment different types of microorganisms are used for degradation of uh, okay specific components of uh, waste okay hazardous waste some microbes are found in a soil sewage sludges has been tested in the degradation of organic chemical test has been conducted degrade pcbs using okay this are the bacteria floco bacterium okay sodomonas okay sodomonas bacteria brenzi phenol and sersol is the is, this is the types of uh, biological treatment we are using the different types of microorganism okay degradation of specific compound okay some microorganism found in soil okay sewage sludges have been tested uh, for in the degradation of organic chemicals okay these are the bacteria we are using okay degradation okay this is the process this are the treatment of the biological waste okay these are the treatment of the biological uh, treatment by the biology of the hazardous waste biological treatment okay now we go for the disposal okay disposal of uh, uh, this one hazardous waste uh, they, are, they are only wait method to dispose when hazardous waste brought into mine that are either inactive or partially active along with the meeting of the geological and technical specification. Many companies need to dispose the radioactive air whether from a medical treatment, laboratory equipment, nuclear fuel production or radiation uh, or mining. Uh, for those cases, this method considers strong cost effective option. See, the only way of method, okay, in this hazardous way brought to mind, okay, uh, it may be active, right, uh, radioactivity, or it may be partially active, along with the meeting with the geological department, government geological persons, uh, can we dispose underground or not, technical specification, okay. This radioactivity waste can be disposed or not. After the permission of this uh, uh, geological people and uh, technical specification people, this medical waste uh, or uh, any uh, radioactivity waste can be disposed. Okay, underground. Very, very important. This method is uh, strong and cost effective. Okay, cost effective. But we have to take care while disposing to the underground. We have to take care while disposed to the underground. This is very, very important. Okay, very, very important. We have to take the suggestion from a geological department, technical specification. Then we can underground, 
we can dispose to underground. This is the one of the first process of disposal is the underground disposal, hazardous waste. Okay, very very important, but it is cost effective. Okay. Then land filling disposal, this also dump sites and land filling most common used uh, oldest method of hazardous waste disposal. This is also very dangerous, waste are specially built not intended for the liquid waste. They are engineering, okay, they are engineered and excavated to they within the ground rather than the piling upward. These landfills are lined with a clay HDPE or either non-porous material prevent the waste from leaching into the ground. Wind dispersal control, leak protection system and double liner additional protection so that human and environment come into contact with the little, uh, little waste okay, as possible. The very very important in the olden days the landfill will dispose is done. Okay, lot of precaution is taken for this. Okay, uh, hazardous waste, liquid waste are not allowed. Okay, they are engine excavated so that within the ground rather than piling upward, this uh, landfill how they are done lined with the clay. First one okay, or non-porous material to prevent the waste from the leaching into the ground leachate, the moment of the uh, liquid, moment of the liquid uh, to the ground, okay, and wind, problem of the wind, okay, they should not move outside to the atmosphere, leak protection system, okay, and uh, double liner, additional protection, okay, and uh, it should not come uh, animal and uh, this one should not contact with the anvoir, this one, hazardous waste, okay. This is uh, very, very important, okay. Landfill disposal, this is a old method, nowadays uh, it is stop, I think, but also it, precaution is taken, okay. Lot of precaution is taken, liner of the clay and uh, non-porous matter prevent the leaching of the ground, it should not, water should not be enter, this porous water should not enter to the Okay, ground. Okay, this uh, uh, hazardous waste uh, liquid should not uh, move to the ground. If it moves to the ground, our uh, this one uh, source of drinking water will spoil, toxic, and uh, so many diseases will affect uh, this one. So control, controlling is done. Okay, and also it should not move to the atmosphere. This hazardous waste should not move to the atmosphere. So, it may be air pollution take place, it causes the diseases to the human being or it may be animal, okay. Uh, the human being and other animals should not contact with that one. So, lot of care is taken by landfill disposal, okay. Underground disposal also very danger, okay. We have taken the suggestion of a geological and technical specification. Then we are disposing the hazardous waste. For landfill also hazardous waste very uh, dangerous. Okay, we have we, we should take lot of care while doing the disposal of hazardous waste. Otherwise, very very dangerous. Okay, government has taken lot of effort for this hazardous waste disposal also. Now we go for ocean dumping. This also some countries are doing. Okay, uh, without informing also they will dump to the ocean, okay. Uh, they will move long distance, okay, so many kilometers from the shore and they will dump there. They, it, okay, it affect on, impact on marine life, all the fishes will die, okay. It has the effect to human health, okay. Uh, some environment agencies ban this practice. Uh, government and environment agency ban this practice, to, okay should not uh, strictly uh, guidelines okay should not dump to the ocean okay should not dump to ocean for the uh, awareness of the groundwater contamination deep sea depositing is sometime used okay long distance they will move inside the sea deep sea and they will uh, okay disposed okay they will uh, dump 
okay hazardous waste okay the ocean uh, okay if you go inside and dump the waste also that will affect the marine life okay marine aquatic animal aquatic plant will die okay human also if you eat that fish we will also get diseases okay this is the seafood problem for the consuming who are uh, consuming the seafood that is a problem for them okay some other environment agency ban this should not allowed okay strictly follow the guidelines but it is if you dump inside the uh, ocean that kills the fishes okay marine life and it is uh, harmful to the human health okay this is about the ocean dumping okay hazardous waste okay marine life okay third uh, type is the ocean dumping it is uh, it also taken lot of care government also taken it is banned some uh, agencies uh, don't uh, won't allow the to practice this okay ocean dumping inside the ocean this hazardous was uh, dump okay now we go for uh, disposal of the hazardous waste third one next one disposal of the hazardous waste okay disposal of the hazardous waste one by one here you can see the disposal packed hazardous waste are packed okay disposed inside the ground okay destroyed inside the ground it is packed okay it should not leak okay here leachate movement everything is controlled okay treatment and it is disposed inside the okay this uh, inside the ground it is uh, properly packed okay here all the okay all the measures of uh, tray uh, this is taken uh, clay liner and uh, all uh, this one okay uh, this should not uh, leachate should not move to the ground water okay leachate treatment is done okay all this see what are the liners okay sand is laid clay gravel liner all this has taken different different types of uh, liner okay here vegetation okay hazardous waste drum okay in the drum they are hazardous waste or it may be radioactivity or anything in the drum close drum without any leakage this is uh, done and inside the ground different layer here water leachate movement water or anything should not move to the ground water this is our main source of drinking water okay main source of it should not affect the if it moves to the ground water if we drink we are in bore well or any source of well if we drink this water if it connected okay any leakage take place oh, we all get the diseases okay very very dangerous okay different types of layers are there here we'll put that and okay okay uh, thank you okay i will continue in the next class